Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Mr. President. U.S. President John F. Kennedy was inaugurated on January 20, 1961. He handled Cuban Missile Crisis, Civil Rights, wrote several books, and was known for his affairs with Well, many women I think you get the point. This is not meant to offend his legacy, family, or President Kennedy himself. This video is about uncovering President Kennedy's character for the women who had an impact on him and his impact on them. President Kennedy was quoted, If I don't have sex every day, I have a headache. His vice president Lyndon B. Johnson said, I fucked more women by accident than Kennedy did on purpose. But we'll save that for another video. In this video, President Kennedy's affair with Inga Arvid, Blaze, Star, Fiddle and Faddle, and most notably Marilyn Monroe will be explained. Sources are listed below in the description. Give a like or a comment for a part 2. Also, another comment prompt is if social media existed in 1960s which affair would be the most scandalous. If you watch the whole video there is an intriguing fact about this particular photo. At the age of 24, President Kennedy worked a desk job for the Office of Naval Intelligence and fell in love with a woman named Inga Arvid. She was around the age of 28 and a newspaper columnist. They wrote letters to each other, fantasized about moving to the West. Together, she was a free-spirited nomad traveling to almost all of Europe and rumored to be a Nazi spy. She had affairs with many other men and interviewed Hitler several times. Arvid was a married woman, her husband, Fejos, was living in South America at the time. Kennedy was living with his sister, Kathleen Kennedy. She was working for the same newspaper that Inga Arvid worked, Times Herald. Once they were introduced sparks flew. The two started dating, and their time together consisted of Inga Arvid watching Jack Kennedy play touch football and golf, both of them. Frequently ate dinner at Kathleen Kennedy's house. Afterwards, Jack and Inga headed to her house. Besides Inga already being a married woman, there were plenty of other reasons why they couldn't marry. The Kennedys were Roman Catholic and Inga Arvid was Lutheran and notably some individuals including government agents believed Inga Arvid was a Nazi spy. Her husband had found out about the affair and Kennedy's family wanted Jack to end the relationship. They eventually broke up, Inga's husband also filed for divorce, and they continued to exchange letters. Kennedy's nickname for her was Inga Binga. Inga Arvid eventually got married to actor Tim McCoy and raised two sons of her own. Blaze Starr. She was born in 1932 in Wylandsdale, West Virginia. She became a burlesque dancer in her teens and was an iconic woman of her time. Blaze Starr was known for keeping a rose between her breasts and blowing off the petals. President Kennedy was a congressman. When went to one of her shows. Years later she was called to the White House where the affair unfolded. Whether it was one encounter or more, they for sure had one. Of course, Kennedy was remembered by her and his secret service. There is a letter she wrote to a friend about her encounter with President Kennedy. She was with Paul, a friend of JFK. President Kennedy called, they headed to Washington, D.C. There she wore a scarf and sunglasses, concealing her identity. In the letter she said she saw Robert Kennedy and Vice President Johnson. Then she writes, we entered an office and JFK was right behind us, after a short time, very short. JFK jumped up and said he was very very sorry, but he had to leave. While he was getting dressed, he said boy. If Fidel Castro had something like you, he would think more about making love and less about making war. I said why did you say that? JFK said oh I was just thinking out loud. Me and Paul left. During her publicity tour for the 1989 movie, Blaze, she described sex with President 
Kennedy is very quick and very wild. He knew exactly what he was doing. Yes, I had an affair with President Kennedy. He was great, fast and great. For anyone watching the entire video, we appreciate it very much. Here is a surprising historical picture. There are a few scandalous pictures of Kennedy, like the one with Marilyn Monroe and Robert Kennedy. This picture is unknown, but features President Kennedy inside a yacht with several women skinny dipping. The story behind the photo is of President Kennedy during his term as a senator. His brother Senator Ted Kennedy and Senator George Smathers on vacation. According to the article, the yacht owner handed the picture to a car dealer. He supposedly bragged about the photo and it was passed down to his son. His son may have then provided to TMZ. Quite an underrated picture. Once Jackie Kennedy was giving a tour of the White House to a reporter from France. First. Lady Kennedy was fluent in French and spoke French throughout the whole tour. Then when. Both ladies passed one particular woman, Jackie said, this is the girl who is supposedly sleeping with my husband in French. Whether or not this actually happened, there were two women nicknamed Fiddle and Faddle. Their names were Priscilla Ware and Jill Cohen. Priscilla Ware was Fiddle and Jill Cohen was Faddle. Robert Kessler, a journalist and author, wrote in the President's Secret Service. A chapter focused solely on President Kennedy's detail right from a direct source. Fiddle and Faddle would swim with President Kennedy wearing only white shirts and nothing else. After swimming, they both headed straight to their offices with wet hair. They never did any work. They accompanied him to different countries. Both women accompanied President Kennedy to Costa Rica, Berlin, Italy, and Mexico. Obviously, he had an affair with each women and even had them at the same time. Marilyn Monroe probably the most famous celebrities and individual in this list. She is arguably as famous as President Kennedy. She may even had an affair with Attorney General Robert Kennedy. Marilyn Monroe was an iconic woman in the 1960s. She starred in movies. Gentlemen prefer blondes, the seven-year itch, and how to marry a millionaire. President Look Kennedy encountered her on numerous occasions. On his birthday, she arrived and sang happy birthday in a seductive way. I can now retire from politics after having had a happy birthday sung to me in such a sweet, open way. Shockingly, she believed President Kennedy was going to divorce Jackie Kennedy and marry Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn felt that she was on the way to become the nation's first lady. Overall, what can be concluded is when President Kennedy said, if I don't have sex every day, I will get a headache. He really meant it. From secretaries to celebrities, too. Burlesque stars President Kennedy's sexual appetite was insatiable. He even had an affair with his wife's secretary. It is important to remember his father, Joseph Patrick Kennedy, had affairs behind his wife's back. All his life President John Kennedy definitely was surrounded by men who cheated and also looking at how many women he slept with. President Kennedy found it to be an escape from his extremely hectic life. Leave an answer to the comment prompt, what you thought about the video, or another intriguing piece of history. Subscribe to Constituted for the next video, and follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Constituted AM Maddie.